Gary Nini &E here to do a quick um, quick video here. A friend of mine, Byron, work friend, emailed me saying, hey, let me know what you think of the Star Trek trailer. And normally anything Star Trek, I just say, no, I'm done. I give up. Star Trek's dead. But for entertainment purposes, uh, maybe just to entertain him, I'm going to watch this trailer for Star Trek Lower Decks that's coming out in August. <sighs> I'm trying to go in this with a positive attitude. With the mindset set, Star Trek's gone. Like the Star Trek I knew is dead, and just try to accept it for whatever it is. So here we go, I'm gonna watch the trailer. Bear with me here. Jeff! So before I get in, this is gonna be a rant about Star Trek and how it's dead. Let's get into a rant about the trailer, I guess. Whatever. I'm so disappointed. I've so given up on Star Trek that the trailer doesn't even phase me. Like, my true peak of rage was after um, the J.J. Abrams Star Trek came out. That's when I was at my peak of ultimate rage about Star Trek and how it's dead and angry. Since then, it's... Each new release of Star Trek coming out, Discovery, whatever other crap is out there, I don't even know now, I lost track. I've just given up completely. Um, I get they have to adapt to modern times and modern audiences. No one wants the old Star Trek anymore, it's dead. Then that's fine, let it die. Let them die. Stop slapping the Star Trek name on things if you're not even keeping to the Star Trek theme at all. Like, sure, it's in space, you have starships and uniforms but you lost the whole point and meaning of star trek captain that damn ringing answer it will you sheer fucking hubris but okay the trailer um it's a stupid cartoon i don't know why they're making it a, a joke cartoon comedy giving to the family guy artists so i don't know who i guess they just given up with directions and don't know where to go with it anymore so they're giving it to a joke comedy team to try and see if that will liven it up i don't think it's gonna do any good but people don't care about anything anymore they just turn off their brains and like anything that's explosions and shaky cam That's what people want nowadays. They don't care about logic um, or anything. It's just, uh, uh, like, sorry, I mean, <sighs> I probably just insulted everyone watching this, but I don't care. It's, it's when it comes to Star Trek, it's when it went from this is Star Trek. You never have faced death. No, not like this. I haven't faced death. I've cheated death. I tricked my way out of death. And patted myself on the back for my ingenuity. I know nothing. And this is Star Trek. You know, there are some words I've known since I was a schoolboy. With the first link, the chain is forged. The first speech censured, the first thought forbidden, the first freedom denied, chains us all irrevocably. Those words were uttered by Judge Aaron Sati as wisdom and warning. The first time any man's freedom is trodden on, we're all damaged. Even Voyager and Deep Space Nine that still had a theme going. Some people would say, well, look at the original Star Trek to Next Generation. 
Okay, look at the differences. Yeah, but at least it still felt like it. It was m adapted to modern audiences at that time, but it still felt like cheesy Star Trek. Um, eventually, over like to season six, they, they modernized it and made it more logical and not stupid like the original Star Trek. But it still felt like about exploration and outer space, and it didn't go off the wall like all the Star Treks are doing now. Picard and Discovery. It's so violent and over the top. <laughs> and gory? And like, when was Star Trek ever about gore? Uh, well, like, the Next Generation episode aside. We seek peaceful coexistence. But that was a one-off. Now it's like, it's so off the wall, I don't recognize anything anymore. I don't even know what I'm watching. I'm like, the Inglady slapped the Star Trek name on it, but this isn't Star Trek anymore. Please just st stop beating it to the ground. Okay, let me give you an example. Have you ever seen the movie Casino? You know, it's an older 90s movie, Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, a lot of swearing and cursing. And you called my friend a faggot? You told him to go fuck yeah. himself? Is that what you did? I told him to go fuck himself? You oh. fucking it? You fucking, fucking shit kicking, stinky horseman horse smelling motherfucker, you! Swearing. Fucking, fucking, fuck, oh. fucking, fucking, fucking. Joe Pesci beating the snout out of everyone, but. It's a good movie. You can get past all the swearing. Fuck, fucking shit. Fucking, 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 fuck, fucking bad shit. Um, but at the very end of the movies that I want you to focus on, okay? In the very end of the movie, Joe Pesci and his his character's brother show up. Um, they're going to meet these guys, and all of a sudden, I don't know where ah, they start bringing up bats. Ah! Ah! Get Get the the fucks and just start beating the piss out of Joe Pesci's brother. <laughs> Tough guy, you and your, oh, your fucking brother. Right in front of him. Okay? The, this is this is how this scene relates to me here. Watch. So I set up a meeting with the guys way out in the sticks. I didn't want my brother to get fucked around. I mean, what's right is right. They don't give a fuck about it. You got that! You got You got that! You got that! You got that! You Tough guy, you and your, oh, your fucking brother. You fucking scumbag. No more. Tough guy stuff. No more. You see? Fuck. Still breathing. Still breathing. Leave him alone. Frankie. Hi. Strip him. No balls. There's no fucking ball. Ah, uh, Dominic. Ah, uh, Dominic. Why do they keep beating him? He's dead. Just let it die. But no, no, we just. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little mad. Um, because it's bad enough they, they killed it with J.J. Abrams, but then they killed it with, further with Discovery. And then Picard, I'm not even going to watch that. I watch people's reviews on it. I'm assuming they're all telling the truth. And based on the reviews alone, I'm like, oh, God. They, I'm never going to even give it a chance. Fucking. 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 Ass. Bullshit. Fucked. Asshole. Ass. Fucking. <laughs> Pissing me off. Why Patrick Stewart agreed to do that filth? You know, Gene Roddenberry would be ashamed if he had any idea what they've done to his legacy, to his series. They completely obliterated it. Like, I, I feel so bad. If he had any idea, he would not be smiling. He'd be like, what have you done? Stop. Like, you're just using the brand name to make money now, clearly. What's sad is that people who like it 
The more they put in, whenever he requested them, the better would the music be for battering on the floor. Oh! The two, on the flute and the twiddle, on the fiddle, no, hopping in the middle like a heron on the griddle. They don't, they don't like it for Star Trek. They like, like it for everything else. That's fine, but stop slapping a name on it. It's not Star Trek anymore. Ah! Stop using that name. Call it Modern Day Space Show, okay? Stop calling it Star Trek. It's, it's funny because my brother was like, he likes it. Like all this new Star Trek crap. And I'm like, you don't get it. Did you not watch the original Star Trek and Next Generation? What happened? If you like that stuff, you should hate this in comparison. It's nothing the same. Like I said before, I'm trying to accept the fact that modern day audiences have evolved horribly. Um, they want shaky cams, explosions, and nonsense. They don't want any logic okay. or any real thinking involved. Um, you know? Like the original Next Generation, even D Space Nine, which is my favorite series, had a lot of thinking required. Like, really made you think. There was lessons to be learned from every episode. So, yeah, sure, there were guaranteed there were some stupid episodes here and there. I skipped a few. Anything to do with Jake Sisko's man love with useless old ladies, you know, and Nog screaming. But there was still a lot of good episodes, a lot of lessons to be learned. From. Discovery, what I've watched in season one, I didn't learn anything. It was like no values in any episodes. It's just explosions and shaky cam and whatever crap they could squeeze into each episode. And... Violence brought respect. Respect brought peace. <gasps> what the fuck? I gave up. The Klingon rape stuff? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going in circles now. But that rant I just did pretty much sums up how I feel about that trailer or anything Star Trek going forward. They're just, it's a joke. They just made it a joke. It's done. It's gone. And I burnt out. I couldn't help but notice your pain. My pain? It runs deep. Share it with me. <laughs> Thanks, Byron. Thanks for having me watch that trailer. I got nothing from it. I'm not going to watch it ever. You couldn't pay me to watch it. It's a friggin' joke, ridiculous show. Um, if it's anything like South Park or Family Guy, I can't watch those shows anymore either because they're episodes that are hysterical. Landing. Oh. <sighs> hmm. Looks like that guy just killed you. What? Why? Why? Then there's episodes that take the next level up to the next extreme. Let's all pee in her empty eye socket! What the fuck? And make it completely disgusting and horrible and graphic. I'm like, uh, what happened? And with that constant shifts from one extreme to the other, I can't, I can't handle it. Because I don't know what I'm getting next episode. Am I going to get a funny one or a friggin' messed up traumatizing one? And I know the show's going to be the same. Just stupid nonsense crap. <laughs> Time for me to die now. Because... Oh, everything I used to love and enjoy is gone.